44, 29 degrees. This would be the Tap and Z Bridge, and boy, is it windy out there. Look at that camera shake. Now, of course, that is a bridge, and we all know that bridges get us from here to there. But can they be works of art? Well, Joe Avalar found one photographer who says absolutely yes. This photographer will brave any height to capture their magnificence. Most of us think of bridges as means to an end, get to the other shore. And most of us only consider driving or walking or biking over a bridge. But not photographer Dave Frieder. To him, bridges are works of beauty to be photographed from the most precarious, unusual positions. That's him on top of an ornamental ball on the highest point of the Manhattan Bridge. What do friends and family think of what you do? They think I'm crazy. They, this, most people are afraid of heights, and heights uh, that just doesn't phase me. And this is the picture he took from there. I have my safety harness under tension, pulling me down. So I'm, I felt safe. It's all steel. It's not going to collapse under me. No, it's not going to collapse. <laughs> reader has been photographing bridges for seven years. For those who don't like heights like me, his stills can make you queasy. I'm holding the camera physically with both hands, and then I'm just using a motor drive, and I'm just firing away, getting multiple exposures. So you are not holding on to anything with your hands. Exactly. Holding a camera. Mm-hmm and snapping away mm -hmm. and hoping that this safety harness... You're not even thinking about your safety harness, are you? Uh, yeah, I double wrap it around, let's say, some cables or some ropes. Uh, Ever been scared? Uh, no, not from heights, but I've been attacked a few times by peregrine falcons on uh, the Trogsnack Bridge. Frieder has special insurance and clearances from all the bridge authorities in the area. And when he goes up, an iron worker or two accompanies him. He also uses all kinds of safety straps to secure himself. Safety is top priority with me. I wear a full body harness, always wear a hard hat, I have gloves to protect my hands because sometimes you can get chipped paint or pieces of steel that could cut your hands. His work has been published in a book about the builder of the George Washington Bridge, Othmer Ammon, and another about the creation of bridges. And when he talks, he keeps repeating that safety is a top priority. He says he won't go up in snow, rain, or high winds. Why take the chance, he says. I guess it's all relative. Joe Avalar, Today in New York. Well, at least he says he's harnessed, which is the good news. Yeah. I think I'd be a little scared. Just a little concerned, right? I'd be a little dizzy. Boy, you got to admit, those are fabulous photos. They are. Absolutely. Gorgeous stuff. Right, and, you know, bridges really are. I think they are works of art. Stunning, yeah. When you come back to the city, it's always nice to check them out.